Hey, welcome back, Sweden, to your Caribou Data Science channel. This is the evening of September the 20th, 2021, and it's time for your daily COVID-19 analysis. Before we get started, though, a big shout out to the 12 people who watched this video in the last 24 hours. I appreciate every single one of those 12 people, but a special shout out to the 10 young folks in Sweden who watched this video. Now I do have a couple of favors to ask. You know, it, you know, there's no reason why we can't be why we can't Sweden can't have 24, 50, 75, 100 views a day. Because I know there's more than 12 people in in uh, Sweden who's interested in the plain, unpoliticized uh, 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 reports from the government, from the news media. Okay, at least if you if you if your media is anything like the U.S. It's basically a bunch, a bunch, you know, well, I'll just leave it right there. Hopefully not. Hopefully your news media is more trustworthy than the United States is, okay? But anyway, I'm sure you know folks who really just want the plain, simple numbers, okay? Plain, simple numbers. The numbers that are easiest to understand. And that's what this video is about for you folks. Giving you the plain, simple numbers. You need to understand what is going on with the COVID-19 situation in, in uh, Sweden, Okay. Let's just fire this, number, this baby up here and see. No. Not P values. Oh man. Some poor soul. Okay, is looking for help with with uh is looking for help with his uh with some statistics. My statistical knowledge is limited to a few a uh, few buzzwords, you know, like population and sample and, and you know, and uh, ordinal numbers and stuff like that. Anyway, we all know that Sweden, uh, back in September, back in some in August, went from a daily reporting cycle to a four-day week of reporting cycle, Tuesday to Friday. And what you see here, these and these number, these spikes here are unfortunately are Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday's numbers. So it's really difficult with, the, with this raw number here to understand what the, what the daily numbers really are. Okay, so what we're concerned with then is the trend, because the trend is our friend. And you can see that Sweden had a long declining pattern in cases right here. Okay, but now in July they begin to see an increase up to here in, in cases. But now it looks like they're maybe trending back down. But we're still talking under, if this line here is 2,500, okay, then this is about 1,200. So right now you're probably between 1,000 and 1,200 cases per day on average. Now this here is a 14-day moving average. Let's take a look. That means that these numbers are, uh, represent the total number of, uh, cases for the previous or average number of cases for the previous 14 days and since this is 8.5 but it's plus but the exponential of plus two that means you move the, the decimal point two places to right so that means in actual fact for the for the 14 day period ending september the 19th you were averaging about 855.7 cases per day okay what about deaths we well, can see here deaths are more interesting uh, apparently over here, there was some adjustment made. Apparently he went back and he found some more deaths from like August the 19th. And so they added them on to September the 19th. So this number may not be quite accurate, okay? Uh, it's, it's kind of hard to say. But anyway, you can see you, you, your, your deaths are still, your, your deaths are still crazy though. 22 deaths, even, even if that's an adjustment. That's still pretty, you know, in 16, 13 deaths, and 11 deaths. So you're, you're, let's face it, Sweden, your COVID-19 case and death are still this crazy low. What do we see here? This this is a 14-day average 
for deaths. And so for the 14-day period ending uh, September the 19th, you were averaging 6.3 deaths per day. Okay. This is COVID-19 cases by week. The question is, how many of these people here were vaccinated? Okay. This is monthly cases. Look, look, look how crazy low your, your cases still are compared to what you had, what you went through back over here. Okay. What about deaths? Look how crazy low your deaths are compared to back just a few months ago. Okay. So anyway, Sweden, that does conclude your report for today. It is time. And so anyway, if you, if I was mentioned, if you are interested in data, data analytics, particularly our programming, hey, be sure to stop back by at 8 p.m. this evening. That's New York time for my night, for my Monday through Friday, Dave's data analytic uh, on Twitch. There will be a link in the description below. If you're interested in there, have questions, interested in our programming, stop by, say hi, and I'd, I'd love to see you this, uh, just to see, love to see your name pop up in my uh, chat session tonight. Okay. Let's do a commit here.